All right, so this is the final video of four videos uh, using tables to find the derivative uh, using the chain rule. So we have the following table. Again, we have lists of values of a function f and g and their derivatives, uh, f prime, g prime for the values of 0 and 1. So x value 0, 1, we have this table that lists the f of x, g of x, f prime of x, and g prime of x values. So we want to evaluate the derivative at of f of g of x, specifically at x equals 1. So this is what we want. I'm just rewriting the question. And so we want to find the derivative of this composite function. Whenever we want to find the derivative of a composite function like this one, what we want to do is we want to use the chain rule. So this is going to be the derivative of the outside, and we leave the inside alone, times the derivative of the inside. So again, whenever we have some sort of a composite function, we want to find the derivative of this composite function. We can use the chain rule and expand it like this. Um, and so this is going to be equal to so again, the derivative of the outside, leaving the inside alone times the derivative of the inside. So this is equal to, so what we want to do is we want to find this exactly at x equals 1. So we can just use 1 here, wherever we have the x. And so this is going to be equal to, what's g of 1? g of 1 is 0, so this is just f prime 0 times g prime of 1 f prime 0 is negative 3, so that's negative 3 times g prime 1, which is negative 2. So it's negative 2. So we just eva I just evaluated this at, at x equals 1, and I, when I used 1 for all the x values, we ended up getting positive 6. So this is the slope uh, of the tangent line that goes through uh, the, the original function f of g of x. Uh, at x equals 1, and so uh, that's a positive slope. So we would just put that in here, and we would check it on Khan Academy. I hope you found this video and this series helpful.